In this video, we will talk about face recognition problems. In face recognition and biometrics, performance is reported on three standard tasks – verification, open set and closed set identification. All these tasks are closely related, with verification being the most basic case. In a verification task, two facial images are presented to a system. The system has to decide if the images belong to the same person or to two different persons. In verification, the basic question asked is, is this person who he claims to be? Verification is also called authentication or one-to-one -one matching. In a typical uh, verification task, a person presents uh, his facial image to a system and claims to be a specific person in the system's gallery. The presented image is a probe. The system then compares the probe with the stored facial shots of people in the gallery. This comparison produces a similarity score. The system accepts the identity claim if the similarity score is greater than the system's operating threshold. The operational threshold is determined by the applications, and different applications will have different operational thresholds. Otherwise, the system rejects the claim. To compute the system performance, one needs two sets of images, the set PG of people who, whose other images are presented in the gallery and the set uh, PN of uh, people who are not presented in gallery. The verification rate is then the ratio of persons from PG accepted at a given operational threshold, while the false accept rate is the ratio of people from PN accepted at the very same operation threshold tau. Identification tasks build upon a verification but extend its formulation. Closed set identification is the classic uh, uh, performance measure used in the automatic face recognition community. In closed set identification, the basic question asked is whose face is this? In this task, a probe is always someone in the gallery. In open set identification, the person in the probe does not have to be somebody in the gallery. In open set identification, the basic question asked is, do we know this face? If the system decides that a person is in the gallery, then the system has to report the identity of that person. Large-scale open set identification tasks bear similarity to the Sibir task, but are restricted to the domain of facial images only. To solve face verification, one may use a fairly standard sequence of stages. First, the face is detected on the image and its bounding box is cropped. Second, the face undergoes alignment to match a certain normalized representation, such as when the line connecting eye centers is horizontal, the size of the faces are uh, approximately identical, and so on. The reason we perform this normalization is due to the fact that many facial recognition algorithms including deep learning and metric methods, can all benefit from applying facial alignment before trying to identify the face. Next, a deep convolutional neural network is applied to extract a feature vector from the facial image. In the very same way this was performed in the Sibir task. Such a feature vector is compared against all feature vectors corresponding to the images in the gallery to find the closest match which means classification as identical or different. Initially, the deep architecture phi are bootstrapped by considering the problem of recognizing several thousand uh, unique individuals set up as a multi-class classification problem. After learning, the classifier la layer can be removed and the uh, score vectors uh, can be used for face identity verification using the Euclidean distance to compare them. However, the scores can be significantly improved by turning, tuning them uh, for verification in the Euclidean space using a triplet loss training scheme illustrated in the next slide. Triplets consist of two matching face thumbnails and one non-matching face thumbnail. The network embeds an image X into Euclidean space RD using features f of x extracted at the last fully connected layer of a network. Triplet loss directly reflects what we want to achieve in phase verification, recognition and clustering. 
The loss aims to separate the matching positive pair from the non-matching negative pair by a distance margin alpha. Namely, we strive for an embedding f of x from an image x into a feature space Rd such that the square distance between all faces of the same identity is small, independent of imaging conditions, while the square distance between a pair of face images from different identities is large. To summarize, uh, face verification is basically a building block for face recognition algorithm in many, many scenarios. Uh, but other co core problems in uh, computer vision for face recognition include closed set and open set identification with a lot of applications in uh, biometry and authentication. To build a basic system, you would just train your favorite CNN to classify facial images to a few hundred classes. But trickier methods are available that aim to fine-tune the pre-trained classifier to extract better face features for same identity.